concerns are. It's, it's clearly the whole situation is uh, does make make one feel anxious. And Ladies and gents, by no means. Um, Hello. You kind of look at it, who's to blame now. Things, and that's you too. Being in isolation, I um, ran out of food, but I'm ordering at this website, Deliveroo. It says delivery will be 3.40 to 4 o'clock. And what's the time now? It's 3.25. And on the TV, they're still talking about coronavirus. If you don't believe in God, the uh, news alone will scare you. And I'm scared. But I am. Believing in God. So, if you want God to help you, you help yourself as well. You see, that's my vitamin D there and iron. And still, my lemon and turmeric tea. To see the current situation carrying on where we no the UK death now okay. is about 1,801. Thank you very much. All of the UK. Now in Pakistan, hundreds of Britons have been on holiday abroad. Okay. So let's back here. Go back here. You see the pan moving it means they're cooking this is pizza please is preparing your order do you want me to do it in the apps let me see if I can I need to give this um, delivery man a tip, you know. Even though there is a charge of 49p, I still have need to give tip because they are risking their life to deliver. By the way, while we're waiting for the pizza, Let us check on the CCTV about the underground transport system. Here, yeah, police officers have been told to be consistent when ensuring that people comply with the coronavirus restrictions after concerns that some officers have been heavy handed with members of the public. Our Home Affairs correspondent Danny Shaw explains how big a problem this has been. I think it is an issue. This is a really difficult time for the police. These are unprecedented times and London transport and powers that they haven't had before. 
They've only had the power since Thursday, so there have been some teething problems. All right, this is the underground lines, Becker Lewis Central Line, District, Docklands, Light Railways, Hammersmith and City, Jubilee, London Overground, Metropolitan Line, and more. Let me see what's going on with the Bakerloo line. Bakerloo line, station close at Regent's Park, at Warwick Avenue, at Kelburn Park, due to coronavirus restriction. Regent's service, 30 minutes running. Okay. How about Central Line? Central Line is closed on stations like Holland Park, Queensway, Chancery Lane, Lancaster Gate, and Red Bridge. This is uh, up to date. This is 31 March 3:30 in the afternoon. How about District Line? Station closed on Bow Road, Beeswater, Gloucester Road, Mansion House, Jim's Park and Temple. Due to coronavirus. Ducklands Light Railway Station closed on Island Gardens. East London, uh, a little a earlier, Prince Regent, due to coronavirus again, and then 10 today. minutes and we'd just like to make it gap. Clear that this was not correct. The new hospital will Hammersmith and City Line close at Barbican, Great Portland Street and Stepney Green. Again, this is all coronavirus, uh, my French Jubilee Line. They'll continue this evening and overnight. Close as Swiss catches Bermond Sea and Sotar. But clearer skies for much of the night across southern Overground, Wales, no service on overground between Surrey Case, Near Cross, and reduced service on all other overground roads. You may well see some showers coming down as well. Most of the showers coming in off the Irish Sea. Metropolitan Line, reduced service on Metropolitan Line, 30 minutes. Interval. In northern Scotland, as the air gets colder and the breeze begins to pick up, otherwise temperatures like today around nine or ten degrees. The weather front bringing that patchy rain in Scotland and Northern Ireland by the end of the day, head southwards into England and Wales. The winds start to pick up on Thursday, and colder air arrives, and those showers in Scotland start to turn wintry. Northern Line. Close on Charing Cross. This is near the Philippine Embassy Charing Cross station. Boro, but the Philippine Embassy is closed at the moment. They are closed until further notice. Go Street, Hampstead, Chook Farm, Clapham South, Mornington Crescent, South Wimbledon, and Tufnell Park. This is due to coronavirus. Piccadilly Line close at Arsenal Stations, the Caledonian Road, High Park Corner, Covent Garden, Manor House, and Bounds Green. Victoria Line close at Victoria Line at Pimplico and at Black Horse Road due to coronavirus. Other lines, routes, major road, for the disruption are displayed in the menu. Okay, guys. You see these uh, NHC staff, they're very scared due to safety fears. There are lack of safety gears, protective proper equipment. After some forces are criticized for being too aggressive. The number of deaths in Spain increases by What's the time now? The highest daily number since the epidemic started. The total there now is over 8,000. 3.34 and the expected delivery is about 3.40. The four Millions o'clock. of migrant workers in India are fleeing major cities and trekking home to rural areas after the government imposed a strict lockdown with just four hours' notice. There's widespread. They're talking about India here. Have been forced onto the streets by a policy that was meant to enforce social distancing. Yogita Lemai reports now from Mumbai. 
पीछा ढूंढा आंखें बंद कर लो जोर से पीछा ढूंढा आंखें बंद कर लो a group of people being sprayed with chemicals turn around and cover your mouths officials shouted these are believed to be migrants returning to their villages from the cities they worked in and this appears to have been an attempt to sanitize them an investigation has now been launched into this incident which evoked anger in india yeah these people from other places that's going home uh, the authority are spraying chemical to disinfect them and shelter because of the nationwide shutdown we laborers but we have nothing now they say it may be one or even two days without work it's really hard we can't even go back to our villages around india now the government and private organizations have been trying to help them but many are asking why there was no plan in place before the shutdown was announced the attempt is to stop corona from spreading here to india's rural areas in one village in the southern state of tamil nadu traditional disinfectants a combination of turmeric medicinal leaves and water are being used to sanitize roads and homes by grinding the leaves and turmeric the villagers have sanitized the entire village whoever enters the village from outside has to wash his hands and legs in it this is a strict edict in the cities pavements and streets all being cleaned the number of coronavirus infections continues to rise but not as rapidly as it is in many nations around the world many ask if that's because india is not testing enough yogadalmai bbc news mumbai the international council of nurses says that its members are facing unprecedented physical and psychological challenges as they continue to battle the coronavirus pandemic it says its 20 million members need to be properly shielded from the virus and it's calling for an urgent increase in the supply of personal protective equipment a global health correspondent tulip mazumdar reports the women and the men on the front line of this global battle all over the world they are putting their lives at risk look at this by my friends the uh, china was the first country to face the full force of covid-19 now it's about between 345 to 355 so i think they are delivering now so thank you guys for watching I am going to take some coins to give to the driver. Five minutes, the whole body is drenched in sweat. It becomes hard to care for patients. The U.S. is the latest country to be hit hard by this pandemic, with more cases now than 